Hi guys, this is Elise, and I just wanted to do a quick video to show you how I'm now storing my wafer dies. Um, I used to have them in the art bin container with the magnetic sheets, and that wasn't really working for me. And then I put them in a cabinet with magnetic strips, and every time I shut the cabinet, they were falling off. And then I decided I was going to go back to the art bin, and I decided not to do that because I was talking with my friend Sandy, and she had these... Um, um, zip and flip um, bags, these sheets, and these are by Art Bin, and I just, not Art Bin, these are by Cropper Hopper, sorry, and I just love these, and this is the large size, so this is what I decided to use, and um, this is how they, they come, in, this is what the packaging looks like, and at first we didn't think that, um, that you can get these, but I looked online and you can get them at walmart.com and then overstock.com. I think they still have them. So thank you, Sandy, so much for sharing these with me. And um, I love this storage system and I am so happy with what I've done. So let me show you guys. I went to Staples and I bought a, a two inch binder. I wanted a three inch binder, but the two inch actually ended up working out better for me. So I got a two inch binder and um, this is how the the sheet looks. Let me just show you guys that. I have one that's out and it comes on this plastic, um, this thick plastic um, sheet and then the the little pockets, they flip up like this. It's sort of a waterfall uh, system. So, and the, the zipper at the bottom is really heavy duty. So nothing is gonna fall out of there. It's really heavy duty. So, um, and I need to put this one back. So what I did was I decorated with my, of course I used my tilde paper and I decorated the front of my notebook. And let's see if I can show you guys how it turned out. And I used one of the um, pages from the corner shop. And um, this is how it turned out. I think it turned out really, really pretty. And I used some of the die cut pieces from the collection. And um, I colored up a couple of Magnolia images and put my little Tilda Girls right there. And it just looks so, so cute. I love the way it turned out. It looks so pretty. Let me lift my camera so you guys can get a better view because there's a big glare. Okay, so here we go. So this is how it turned out. Really, really cute. So there's the front of my binder, and of course I left it really flat just because, um, you know, I need to be able to store this and slide it on the shelf or wherever I'm going to put this. So in the inside, I have um, the uh, flipping zip, the zip and flip sheets with all of my dies, and I just love this system. It just works out really, really well. And this one, I have. Um, my magnolia dies, my doohickeys, and so I got a couple new ones. Let me show you the ones I got new. So I've got the butterfly, and Laura, she showed this one. She punched these, and so I didn't get a chance to punch these, but I just wanted to show you the new ones one I got. And then I got these tags, and then I also got the little corner. And I love this little corner because it has these little tabs here that you fold over onto your paper on the corner, and it just gives you a nice finished look. So... Anyway, so I put those, and I actually left those in the original, in the packaging. So, um, and I just love this. And so there's plenty of room for me to grow if I get new dyes. Um, it's not totally full. I actually have um, a couple of empty um, ones in the back, and I'm going to add this one back to my notebook so I don't forget. So I have two totally empty ones in the back. And they, I mean, this system, I just love this. I think this is going to work really, really well for me. You know, everybody has what they like. and um, But if you're looking for a system to hold your wafer dies, um, you can check this out. These aren't, you know, they're not real cheap. You get two um, in a pack for, on Walmart.com, they were like 13 bucks for two. But you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Each one has 18, so that's 16 pockets right there. So you can kind of buy them as you need to. Um, so, But it is a little bit more pricey than buying the um, Art Band magnetic sheets. But I like it, and it works for me. And since my friend Sandy uh, shared these with me, thank you so much, Sandy. I really like it. So anyway, I want to share something else. I got another new die, because I have been looking for a 5.5 by 5.5 
um, die so that I could cut some cards. And I wanted something with a little bit more shape to it, a little bit more ornateness to it. And um, my friend Stacy, hi Stacy. Stacy is the Five Blessings here on YouTube. She um, found a company in the UK called Go Create. And they sell these larger dies that fit in the Big Shot. Now these are the, this one is an extra large die. They do have an extra, extra large die set that's really big. But I only have a Big Shot, so I have a Vagabond. And um, this size fits perfectly because the largest die that's in this set is 5.5 by 5.5. And, and so that fits perfectly in my Vagabond or your Big Shot or whatever, Cuddle Bug or whatever it is you use. And you can make a larger size card. So thank you, Stacy, so much. But I didn't order this from the UK. I actually got online and I found a an online store called The Frantic Stamper, which is in... Oregon I think and um, that's where I ordered from so I won't be ordering a lot of these because again they are you know kind of pricey and um, I'm really needing to you know slow down on some of my spending because I've got a um, my son is going to college in the fall so you know how that goes so anyway um, but anyway that's my new diet and I made a card so let me show you my card topper that I made I'm not finished right now it's just a card topper and so this is how it looks. And I wanted to use all three of the dies so that you guys could see how they look all layered up. And so I colored this Magnolia image. And I think she turned out really cute. And I just added some Iron Roses flowers, some seam binding, a little bit of twine. And I used the Maha Design Paper, which is so absolutely gorgeous. And um, what I did was I layered the top, which is the smallest um, shape, I layer that and I put my sentiment in the inside. So I like the way that turns out turned out. And now what I need to do is just finish the back off with either either an easel or I can add another piece on the back so that it'll stand up. Or I can just put paper on the back to just make it a um you know a flat card like this. But I just love the way that turned out and I love these dies and I'm excited to make some more cards using um this die. So this die from tip to tip is five and a half by five and a half so um, it's the same size as the corrugated um, card and this fits perfectly on top and the tips um, touch the edges of that corrugated card because that corrugated card from Michaels is five and a half by five and a half so anyway so I like the way that turned out and I love my new die and I love my new binding system and again for the larger dies I'm just putting like for my new die I just got, I'm just using the pocket that's over here on the side to, to put that. Um, because it won't fit in one of these pockets. So um, so anyway, so there's my new um, storage for my wafer dies. And I hope you guys like it. I think it turned out really pretty. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.